Hello everyone, I just woke up, it's 5 a.m. It's Thursday, March 28th, and the pre-party of Madrid is starting today. And I need to get the bus really early, so I should get ready and uh, meet this silver in Madrid. But not everything was as nice as expected because right after the party, when we arrived at our room, we were assaulted by the cats of our host. Mm -hmm. They were in our room. No way. <laughs> no way. We need to sleep, girl. It's 7 a.m., girl. Let us sleep. The pie. <laughs> so mother. <laughs> this is the actual first group picture of the Eurovision 2024. So now we will be interviewing the artists. This is really uh, confusing, but we will try to interview the most we can. Yeah, it's the first time doing this. Uh, we are so excited. So we have all Let's the Eurovision artists. Passing by here, so yeah, <laughs> still very, very young. So, but uh, I will remember you as the Eurovision fan, and your song was incredible. Uh, thank you so much. Too. Thank you. Now, I have a question that everyone uh, wants to know yeah. Are you really scared of heights? First of all, congratulations, uh, best one representing Albania. Thank you so much. How, how do you feel? How does it feel to be representing Albania? Well, it's really exciting. It's also a big responsibility, so we're trying to do everything we can to put on the best show and um, hopefully do the best we can. <laughs> and how, how did you come up with um, uh, presenting yourself to Festival Kangas? Actually, I, it was in my mind throughout the years that I would probably uh, do it, but not this year though. I mean, this it was spontaneous this year. We were just... Yeah, like you uh, need writing, to have the song. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, but no, it. It, does not, it, does not, it did not start like that, actually. We just wrote a good new, good song, and we were then thinking about options, what to do with it. Yeah. And then just uh, a really close friend of mine just, ah, he was really determined to uh, push us. <laughs> do festival again. Exactly. Yeah, and then I, and then and I thought, why not? And you were on the teleboat, and you're going to your wishes, so... Yeah, like, yeah, it is. Really and um, how, why did you decide to change the, the language of the song? Like, how, why did you change Simber and to Titan, even if it's the same song, uh, to change the, the language? Actually, um, when we first wrote the song, it wasn't meant to be in Albanian, like oh, really? what, what, the way it came out. Okay, okay. And so um, we actually never wrote properly the English lyrics okay, okay. It's because we thought Festival Ikangas afterwards and so I felt like musically it could speak to a larger audience okay. and so that, that was it the... Reach, it can reach more people, right? By yeah. The okay, okay. Yeah, and so I thought maybe everybody should be able to understand uh, firsthand the message yeah, and yeah. the song. I, and I, so. I, I introduced a, a, like more tempo party in the last uh, yeah. chorus of the song. Yeah. Do you want people to party with your song too? I think it was like 
my wish to um, all of the emotions of the song, there could be a moment to kind of create this explosion yeah, like, and people could like exactly, celebrate throughout, exactly. gone through the gone through the emotions and the sadness and then, and then you break, know, break yeah. With the, with the happiness. Okay, okay. And you are, um, your running order is the second spot? Yeah. How does it feel? Because in, in Eurovision we, we call the second spot the death spot because normally uh, people that uh, perform the second uh, doesn't get the really uh, best result. So how does it affect you? Well, I guess um, I'm trying not to be that superstitious. Okay. In a way, I would have preferred because of listening to... Yeah. I, I didn't know, to be honest. Like I heard from you guys, yeah. like from all of you that are like, experts, yeah, yeah, just like, you know, the statistics of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I'm just going to go against the statistics the way I always do. do I'm just gonna go with my soul yeah, yeah, and do my best. You're and a then... great performer, like I'm Thank sure you, you, you will do. You. And you have any special message for uh, the European audience or European fans? Yes, I'd like them to uh, give Titan a chance. I'd like them to know that they're all uh, very special and Inside, all of us are unique, are beautiful, and we all have amazing strength, whatever our problems and demons are. And I'd like them to vote Titan this year. So, hello, hello. Sarah. Hello. How are you feeling here in Madrid? Oh, I'm super happy, super excited. Really? And let's start with the song, Loop. How does it feel to perform Loop uh, in your vision? You won the national selection. Uh, your song is loved by a lot of people. How does that feel for you? Well, I mean, now that I'm here, I think... Okay, we are now with uh, Sylvester from Moving to Romeo. Um, Hi. How did you come up with the idea of presenting yourself to Eurovisia L LT? Um, there wasn't like a decision, it, it, it just felt like it just came out of me. I woke up one day, I was talking to a friend of mine and, and we were like, what if I did Eurovision this year? And we had a songwriting session and we wrote the song and I was like, yeah, we're doing it, we're doing it. And one question that everyone does is, uh, why do you keep the song in Lithuanian and not in English like most of the artists do? Really? Yeah, most of the artists don't translate their songs. Like, this year we have a lot of songs in their own national language, but in other years, uh, artists change uh, the language of the song to yeah. English, so it can reach more people. Or yeah, I feel like we are over the need of English songs at this point. We have a lot of English songs. Um, and I feel like now we want something more authentic and I feel like language is one of the tools that represents us like, and makes us authentic. So I feel like the choice was clear and I, I didn't want to do any, any other way. And represent better Lithuania, right? Yeah, exactly. Better way with the Lithuanian? Yeah, we have a beautiful language and I just wanted to, to show it. And I'm, I'm happy actually a lot of comments say that yeah. they prefer... You're one of the favorites. You're one the of the favorites. Oh, it makes me so happy. I, I personally love this song. Um, talk us uh, about the uh, stitch concept. Is it going to be the same? Uh, with the dancer, the lights yeah. and the thing? Or yeah, is staging, gonna staging is going to be very similar. Just a few upgrades and yeah, a uh, bigger stage, more lights and bigger arena. So we just had to adapt it, but we were very happy with the vibe, with the colors and everything. So yeah, it will, it will stay similar, but just bigger. And another question is, uh, what are you wearing on your performance on your nose? A lot of people ask this. Uh, what is that? that it's just wearing? like an accessory, you know. I, I feel like we are over rings and earrings, and I just, I just want something more special and something that people will be like, what is that? And we achieved that. A lot of people are asking me what it is. And like, what is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, like something that really represents, you know, like that thing in the nose. Everyone asks it, but it really represents yeah. it. And another thing, uh, do you have any favorite this year? Like it's a risky question, but yeah. I know, uh, some, any song that you have a special love to, like you like it? I have like, I don't know, probably 10 songs that are really excited to, to see the performance and everything. Um, yeah, but I don't want to say. Okay, okay. It's understandable. <laughs> and from all the years in the history of Eurovision, do you have any special favorite? Well, I know it's basic, but obviously Lorraine is 
on the top. She's the queen. She's the icon. She's the um, but and she's the moment. Exactly. <laughs> Um, but there's a lot of performances that made history and changed a lot of people's lives and yeah, I feel like with Eurovision each year we're expanding our like views and everything as, as Europe. Um, so yeah, there were a lot of songs. I don't want to say just, you know, just one. Um, but if I had to choose a specific one that I would be like, you're gonna meet them. Tell me which one you want to meet. I would be like, yeah, Lauren, let's go for a drink. <laughs> and uh, what are your expectations? Like, do you think Lithuania can win this year? You can get to the top five, get the best result for Lithuania in your history? Yeah, I feel like that's, that's a question for people that are betting and making odds. And I don't want anything to do with it. You are going to I do just, your best? Yeah, I just want to enjoy whatever happens. I already feel like I won the most that I can. And whatever comes afterwards is just like a cherry on top. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, you're very uh, cute, guys. Um, congratulations on representing Lithuania and good luck in London. Hello, Colleen. I'm here with the representative of Austria in Eurovision 2024. Hi. Hi, Colleen. How are you feeling here in Madrid? I'm feeling very good. How are you? I'm very good to be interviewed here. It's a pleasure. Thank you. So, my first question is, how did you come with the idea of writing the new version? Congratulations on representing Sweden. Uh, how does it feel to be uh, representing the host country? Uh, crazy. After Lorraine? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a crazy feeling, you know, to represent Sweden in Sweden. Sweden is going to have our back, so it's going to be a great feeling, and yeah, we're just super excited. And um, what are your ex expectations uh, for the staging? Like, are you going to keep the same concept as well, the we, festival? Then? We can't because of the rules on how the stage can be, but we will try to make it similar because don't fix anything that's not broken. So it's going to be a fun experience, but we will improve, make it bigger, better. So it's going to be very uh, fun. The stage in Malmo is, is huge. So yeah. Um, why do you decide to be representing Sweden being Norwegian? It's a lot about timing, what feels right. We've been working a lot in Sweden the last three, four years now, so it felt very right to, do, to represent Sweden. Okay. Yeah. You came uh, second last year and uh, won this year. What, uh, what did you feel? Did, did you ever think that you could ever do this, like win right after you? No, we didn't, we didn't really imagine uh, it, uh, but uh, it's uh, you know it's an unbelievable feeling. We're never going to forget it. It's unforgettable. 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 Of course. So, yeah. Tora. Uh, Tora. Thank you so much. What? Tora. 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 Yeah. Tira la copa. Tira la copa. Tira la copa. Hi guys, you are iconic. Thank you guys.
we are now on the red carpet. We didn't find a good place because we arrived late, so we didn't find a good place, but we are here. We will still give our best to meet. It's go late starting now, so we will see how Katrina is looking. Yeah. Eso ya vamos, sería el plus total, sería un regalo. Bueno, no es que no te hagas imaginar nada, pero que quiero vivir.
Guys, this was all. Uh, I just left the party, just left AC Silver in the room, and now I'm going back home. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the content. Uh, I said you goodbye from rainy Madrid. Uh, thanks for watching always, and thanks for the support. Love you. Ciao. Never mind, he appeared again. Bye, it's the time I'm. It's now raining, but we are gonna leave now. I'm gonna go on that place, I'm always waiting for the Uber. So it's the moment of goodbye. 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 All's life. Hasta luego, Mari Carmen. For the time I've been without you, I wanna live.